morning, friends. We're at the Walmart in Barstow, California, and the sky is blue today, so maybe we've gotten away from some of the smoke we've been in for a couple of days coming down through California. That's the Walmart. I guess it's a little dusty, but that's from that truck there. I'm going to a health food store because apparently um, nutritional yeast is a foreign concept at the Walmart. Okay, BJ's Natural Foods in Barstow, California. Very nice lady in there. And I got my premium nutritional yeast seasoning. Adds a delicious flavor to foods. That's exactly what I need. Hi friends. I'm back from the health food store where I bought nutritional yeast. I'm going to use that to make some cashew cheese. I got a recipe from that, for that from uh, friends up in Central California in the Bay Area, Tracy, California, actually, and um, they're vegans, and we're not, but we were highly impressed with the food we got fed for a few days, so uh, I'm going to try making some of this cashew cheese stuff. That's what I need the nutritional yeast for. Uh, there are a couple of young boys up there, uh, brothers, who are starting a YouTube channel, so I want to do a shout out to their new YouTube channel too. I have a little preview of it for you, and uh, I hope you'll take a look at that. Uh, the rest of the video is just going to be about uh, some stupid conversations that Lynn and I had on our way into California a month ago, up in Northern California around Mount Shasta. Enjoy what's on my mind today. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. So this is Kyle, and the reason that I didn't uh, declare that I have a minor in my video before is because Kyle has his own YouTube channel, so he's already on YouTube. Kyle, you have a channel. What's the name of it? Uh, it's Chuck and Bones. Chuck and Bones? Yeah. And I'll put the URL for how to get to it down in the comments of my channel. But uh, what's your channel about? Um, so basically, we make videos of weird stuff like sort of fake movie things. And then we do gaming yeah? and other stuff like that. Cool. Show me a little preview of it. Okay. I really do not know how this got into my video today. Somebody named Karina picked up my camera when I wasn't paying attention and filmed me. I really don't like playing in public. If you're a musician, you'll know why. Your piano sounds... Well, that's not what I meant. <laughs> your piano sounds good. I didn't mean my playing sounds good. I mean your piano sounds good. <laughs> There's the bee. It just went past my head. 
I wonder if he went out. Good morning. Oh, hello. How are you today? I'm fine. So we're heading from Lassen Park to Mount Shasta on the back road to hit I-5 and go north to Medford. Whoa, look at here. There's Buffalo. Sure. Well, it's just Buffalo. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'm. I'm. Anytime we're on a trip. I know. I know it was Buffalo. Hey, I know a Buffalo when I see one. I used to be a rodeo clown. <laughs> well, yeah, you were that. But how could I turn it on when you get done talking? You never get done talking. <laughs> you gonna sing your song? Come on, you haven't sung a song for two weeks on YouTube. Which, which one? How about Pig Cow? Oh, that one's really stupid. Yeah? I'd, I'd rather sing the southern rendition of uh, Zippity Doo Doo. No, it's too long. Oh, it's too long? Yeah. Okay. Hurry up, Mom. How do you tired. do, Pig Cow? How do you do? How do you do, Pig Cow? How do you do? We are very glad to meet you, but we're gonna have to eat you. How do you do, Pig Cow? How do you do? Is that the end? That's the end. I always just wonder what's around the corner. Huh? Uh, oh, what's around this corner is a narrow bridge and a low clearance. And I don't like uh, what's the low? Oh, looky here. Yeah. Look at that. But look at the road, though. Fifteen foot one inch. Hold your breath. Oh. oh. We're eleven feet. Can I let it out? So anyway, as I started to say, don't you always just wonder what's around the corner? Hoping, oh. hoping it isn't something like a bridge and a low clearance? Yeah. Huh? What was I going to talk about? About how we cooked our dinner. Oh, we cook our dinner while we're going. Um, because when the main diesel engine is running, it's charging all the batteries. And so we turn on our inverter. We have a 3,000 watt inverter. And we cook with our crock pot. We put it in the sink so that it doesn't wiggle around and spill, slide off the counter, and we cook with the crock pot. But now I have an Instapot, so we use that. But the first time I tried this, I had a little crock pot, slow cooker, that I bought, by the way, at uh, Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked just fine. So one day I loaded it up and put it in the sink and plugged it in and turned on the inverter and took off down the road. I gotta turn the camera around because uh, you need to see the stupid face when I get to the next part. So here's, here's what happened. I put it in the sink and I turned it on and I'm stopped for a while at a rest area and I noticed that it has turned itself off and it's not supposed to do that so I turned it back on and in a little while it turned itself back off again I heard it click so I found a place to pull off the road and the darn thing turned itself off again and I'm thinking okay so that's why it was at Goodwill because it doesn't work right but it was getting hot and it seemed to be cooking the food so I turned it back on and went a little farther and the next time I stopped it was off again and that's when I figured out it wasn't the slow cooker I was using it was the rice cooker <laughs> and it was turning itself off because it thought the rice was done <laughs> the fact is that it worked pretty darn good though in spite of being the rice cooker instead of the slow cooker or the instapot <laughs> Is that enough of a stupid face? <laughs> yes. Uh, what country is that? Huh? 
pine trees. Oh, come on. You gotta do better than that. Uh, some of them are uh, Douglas fir. Some of them are. Uh, some of them are lodgepole pines. I knew you were going say that. Oh, those over there, they're birch, the yellow ones. I wrote a poem about lodgepole <laughs> pines one time. In weeping willow pineries, the wind wills trees to tease each other there with needle leaves on bodies bare. Two trees of pine sway together and away as if to grow as one in that wind of a rainy sun. A fall day will come when the weaker one will come falling down for lonely lodgepole pines have shallow minds and can grow only woe. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.